Hello ladies and gents and welcome to the last week of class. You made it. It's finals week. Congratulations. Bravo. Applause, 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 applause. You did it. All right. So we just have a few things this week and then we're done. Gosh, this quarter has gone fast for me. Hopefully for you too. But uh, at least in this class, some of the other classes were dragging a bit. But Shakespeare is just so fun. I have enjoyed every moment of getting to explore his plays and sonnets with you guys. This has just been a hoot. Uh, thank you for being so amazing, for being so awesome, for investing in the class and some of the more unconventional ways of showcasing your intellect and understanding. Um, truly blown away by some of the creativity and work you guys have produced in this class. Uh, the, the song rewrites might have to be my favorite thing ever in the history of teaching. But <laughs> I know that sounds like hyperbolic, but it's not. I've been teaching for like 12 years and those songs made me laugh so much. Like you guys are amazing. Um, so this has been a really fun class. I hope you guys had a good time learning Shakespeare too. Uh, this week, it's finals week. This is our last week together. We have uh, a few short assignments and a couple extra credit opportunities, and then we're done. So uh, the first thing you're going to be doing today, Monday, is a discussion board um, where I want to see a little bit about what you remember about characters and who your favorite or least favorite characters might have been over the course of the term. Um, so we're going to play FMK, and I know the F doesn't stand for friend. Uh, I'm trying to keep it classy, right? So, uh, tell me what character you would want to friend, what character you would want to marry, and what character you would like to kill, and then give me a little paragraph, uh, describing why. Um, and I'm very excited to see what you come up with. Uh, the, <laughs> the kill one was oddly the easiest one for me to write. Um, the other ones took a little more thought. So I'm interested to see what you guys come up with here. Should be really fun. So that is the assignment for today. Uh, then we have an extra credit opportunity on Tuesday. This is 100% optional, so just do it if you want to. Um, this is a chance for you to earn extra credit up to 20 points if you need it. Um, and it is to create a comic strip with the essential plot points of one of our plays. And I've included an example for you um, for Richard II, which is one that we didn't read. So like, I don't have to worry about copying or anything because you guys would never do that anyway. Um, so write a comic strip that tells all the main plots of any of the plays we've read in class and you can earn some extra credit. Woohoo! Let's see, what's next? Then we have a reflection. Now this is super short, kind of like free points. If you do it, you get the points. Please do it because uh, this is something that's very, very helpful for me. Uh, it asks you a couple questions about the class, what you enjoyed about the class, what you didn't like about the class, what play was your favorite, which one was your least favorite, what assignment worked best for you, all that kind of stuff. Um, because this is the first time Shakespeare has been taught at CBC in over five years, which is just a travesty because Shakespeare is amazing, right guys? So all those people over five years missed out. And uh, if I have anything to say about it, that's not going to happen again. So I want to make this class as effective as possible um, in teaching about Shakespeare and making it accessible and fun. Because sometimes people look at Shakespeare and they're like, ugh, whoa, that dude, mm -mm, want no part of that. Um, but hopefully, now that you've made it through a whole Shakespeare class, you're like, oh, the language isn't so bad and the guy's got some stellar ideas. So hopefully other folks will be willing to take the class and um, I would love to make it better. So this reflection helps me make it better for the next set of victims or um, students. It's probably a more appropriate word. <laughs> you might feel victimized if you've watched all of the PowerPoint lectures and you're like, oh gosh, this woman is long-winded. 40 minutes talking about Hamlet? Who is this person? So, so apologies. Uh, but it's fun and I love doing it. So thank you for watching if you did. Um, so the reflection really helps me make the class better, and I would love to have some ideas of how to do that. So please be honest. You get points no matter how you answer the questions. So um, don't be afraid to be truthful in, in ways that the class could be better. Please let me know. The reflection is a great place to do that. 
And then finally, we do have a final quiz. Now the final quiz is only made up of a couple questions. So there's two matching questions that are fairly dense. And then there is one question for each of the plays that we've covered that you'll be answering in the final quiz. Um, so the quiz is made up of matching and short answer questions. Uh, no essay questions, you don't have to do that. <laughs> no multiple choice, just those two styles. Um, and a little pro tip for those of you who watch these weekly over video, overview videos, all three of you in the class, thank you, you're wonderful. Um, if you have watched all the recorded lectures, the short answer questions on this quiz are gonna be super easy. Uh, I don't wanna give anything away, but if you've watched to the end of all the lectures and you've thought about some of the questions I've posed at the end of those lectures, uh, you're gonna do really well on the final quiz on those short answer questions. So bonus for you for being awesome and being the two people who watch the recorded lectures all quarter. So you guys are gonna be solid, you're gold, you're doing well. Uh, the rest of the folks who aren't watching this video and who aren't watching the lectures, uh, they'll have a little harder time. But I'm excited for those of you who have stuck with it and keep uh, engaging with the material. Way to be awesome. Uh, my goal is to have everything graded by the evening of Friday the 18th. That way you'll have a really good idea of where your grade stands um, because I have to turn in final grades to the administration on the 22nd. So um, if you have any questions about your grade, please reach out before the 22nd and I'll be super willing to talk to you about it. Um, after the 22nd, they go to the administration and I no longer have any power. Like they, it, my power goes away. It evaporates. It becomes, poof, it's no longer there. So I can't make any changes to the grades after the 22nd. So if you have questions, wait until the grades all the way updated uh, by the 18th and then let me know what questions you have. We'll talk about it and final grades go out on the 22nd. Yay! This class has truly been so much fun, guys. Thank you for engaging. Thank you for jumping in with both feet to these fun assignments. It has been a pleasure to teach you. Thank you for being so awesome, and I hope you have an amazing summer.